one of the hard problems with uh, pulling data out of a database is actually pulling it out in a paginated fashion. Many times you have lots of data inside of a table and you only want to display 10, 20, 50 records at a time to a user so they don't get information overload. Now that's actually a a rather difficult problem to pull that data out in that fashion and SQL 2008 does provide a syntax for pulling information out but it is SQL so it's not compile time checked so the inhydrate framework actually provides a way to pull this data out in a relatively easy fashion now this is the Acme sales database that we've used in many examples and we have customers to orders to order details and such like the Northwind database does so let's look at pulling customers out in a paginated fashion Let's open up the sample project. And there's actually a few ways you can pull this information out. The first way, the oldest way, and not really recommended because it's, uh, it, it, it's a little cumbersome to use it this way, but you can declare an integer, uh, don't have to initialize it anything, and then one of the overloaded run selects on the customer collection, every collection has a run select, and it's overloaded in a multitude of ways. One of the ways in which it's overloaded is it allows you to pull the, uh, to specify the page, the page size, the sort column, etc., and then pull that information back out. So uh, this syntax that I have here says, give me page one. I want the page size to be 10 records per page. I want to sort by the city field. Uh, I want it to be ascending. And the filter, this is actually a filter that you can specify. You can't see the IntelliSense, it's off screen. But the the filter basically allows you, is very narrow in that it only applies to the field on which you're sorting. So since we're, we're sorting by the city field, I can filter by city equals Berlin, essentially. And there's an output parameter that you give it that integer you declared up there, and that will return to you all the records in the, that match that criteria, uh, other not paginated. So this will pull up to 10 records of page one, but if there's a million records in your database, when it comes back out, this output variable will equal a million. So this way you can put page one of X on your application, or you can say this is records one through 10 of 100 records or something. So that's kind of useful. Now, uh, I, again, like I said, this is rather uh, limited in its scope because you can only s sort by a field and the filter that you specify has to be the field on which you sort. This was the original way that this was handled. Now, there's a little bit better way that you can paginate. Like this. Now, there is actually a customer paging object. There's a paging object for every collection. So for customer collection, there's a customer paging object. And it has a few overloads in its constructor. So obviously one in 10 is the page one records per page 10. There's also an overload for the field to sort by and such. Um, if you do not specify a field on which to sort here, it's just gonna sort by the primary key ascending. Since every table has a primary key or a number of primary keys, it will actually sort by the primary key in an ascending fashion. Now, one of the overloads for the run select on the customer collection actually takes a link syntax, takes a link syntax where condition, and it takes a paging object. So I can actually specify, I wish the city to be Berlin, and I can pass in this paging object, and this paging object is sorting by whatever field I specify. This is a little bit better in that I can actually specify which, I can specify a complex or arbitrarily complex where statement and still have a paging object in there. Also, when this paging object comes back out, it actually has a field called record count, and that will be set to the total number of records that match that criteria, so you can, again, use that for your um, you can use that inside of your application display records 1 through 10 of 100 records or so. And finally, this is just a little bit different in that it shows you how to specify the paging objects uh, sorting field. So we can declare a customer paging uh, page 1 of 10 records and it's going to sort by city in an ascending fashion. And we push that in, all that will build a dynamic query and hit the database. So it's pretty easy to page and that's how you do it.